Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we're going to be doing the muchly anticipated Te Awaroa Super Guide. June 28th dropped an update that reset every map in Call of the Wild except for Silver Ridge Peaks and today we're going to share all of the new hotspots, all of the new zone times. We're going to share all the new info for every species here in New Zealand. So today we're going to go through max levels, classes, diamond trophy ratings, max weights, drink times, collars, common and rare fur types and I will share a hotspot map for every single species in New Zealand at the end of each segment. Let me know in the comments guys what your favorite species is to hunt in New Zealand and we're gonna head straight into it. Okay let's have a look at the best loadout for Te Awaroa. Okay so I like to carry with me the FL Sporter 303 or you can use any 4 to 8 rifle. There are not a lot of high classed animals on this map. You do not need the 300 so this is actually the strongest rifle you're gonna need on this map. So you can use the M1, you can use the 308, any 4 to 8 will do just fine. And the FL Sporter is actually the weapon that comes with this map. You can purchase it from the store or you can get it for free through the missions. And I actually do love the FL Sporter 303 awesome rifle. Then I have with me the Vasquez Cyclone which is the air rifle and the air rifle is a class 2 to 4 weapon and there are quite a few class 3 species on this map and class 4 species making this the perfect weapon for taking out mass amounts of animals and making a lot of cash while on this map. Then we have the Virant 22 and that is for turkeys, the 243 Arquomo and this handgun which comes in the new Assorted Sidearms DLC is is perfect for feral goats and for chamois as they are both class 3 animals and then I do have the 10 millimeter Devani on me it only weighs one kilogram it is good for classes 2 to 6 so that is just an extra one I carry along because I have the extra room now you'll notice here I have 23 kilograms worth of space and that is because I have the pack mule skill now I'm not actually using it right now so my loadout anyone can use but if you do select the pack mule skill you'll actually get an extra extra three kilograms worth of space. And the 303 is gonna be good for red deer, for fallow deer, for sika deer, and for feral pigs. And then we have the Vibrant 22, and that is good for European rabbits and Merriam turkey. And the Vasquez Cyclone is actually good for every animal on the map, except for turkeys and European rabbits. Then I always carry all of my ammo with me and that is because it weighs so very little that I don't bother to take it off. Then I have with me the Argus for those long range shots, the Hyperion, and I do have the Marksman Devani Reflex Sight. As far as collars go, I have the Antler Rattler and that is good for Fallow Deer, the Grunt Collar for Sika Deer, the Red Deer Collar, the Wild Boar Collar, and that's for Feral Pigs and I do have the wild turkey mouth collar and that is for turkeys. Now there is also the wild turkey crow collar and what this collar does is elicits a vocal response from the turkeys so you know where they are. I like to use the mouth collar more frequently because that actually gets the turkeys to come towards you. But you can carry them both if you choose. Then I have with me the first aid kit, the Apex View daytime binoculars and the Gen Zero nighttime binoculars. And you'll find the Gen Zeros in the high tech hunting pack. And that is my loadout for hunting in New Zealand. The first species we're gonna have a look at for today's guide are red deer and probably the most popular. Now red deer go to nine legendary. Red deer are a class six species so as such you can use any four to eight rifle. I will be using the 303 on red deer here and this is just one zone for red deer. There's a beautiful mythical right there. There's a nice big one. So that's one drink zone. So if I actually scan around the lake, there's another one there. It's absolutely insane how many red deer are on this map. That's the third drink zone. There's our fourth drink zone around this lake. This is where we are right here. There are actually five different drink zones around this lake. Those are all red deer and we're right at the top of Rotanui here. So max weight for red deer is 240 kilograms or 529 pounds. And a max weight track will lead you to either a large seven an eight mythical or a nine legendary. And I really love the rock on this seven here. So red deer drink from six until 10 or 10.30. They just have the one drink time. They no longer drink at night and that is very exciting. All right, let's take this guy here. Looks good. And this one has no clue. We'll take him as well. 
So there is one collar for Red Deer and that is the Red Deer collar and there also is Red Deer scent. And Red Deer actually go to nine legendary as well as 10 fabled. We do have Red Deer great ones in the game. Now the other maps that you can hunt Red Deer on include Quattro Kalinas, Hirschfelden, and Parquet Fernando. And I will leave a link on the screen here, guys. If you would like to set up a grind for Red Deer here in New Zealand, I'll leave that link here for you. Okay, so this is a level six. It is a silver. So diamond for Red Deer is 251.07. It changed by just a fraction. It used to be 251.0, but with that June 28th update, it changed by 0.07. So this guy is a brown. So as far as common fur types go, Red Deer come in dark brown, brown, light brown, and gray. And they have three different rare variations, including piebald, albino, and melanistic. So this is where I have found all of my drink zones here in Te Awaroa and you guys should have very similar zones so that should help you to find yours. The next species we're going to have a look at for today's guide are Sika deer. Now Sika deer are a class 4 species. Hard to believe because they are so very tiny. They do go to level 5 medium and their max weight track is 75 kilograms or 165 pounds. Now they are mainly found on the left hand side of the map here in New Zealand. Let's see if we can take this guy down. He's uh, not quite 300 meters away. So. As far as weapons go, any 4 to 8 will do just fine with Sika Deer. I am using the 303 right now. And splat! That Sika Deer did not stand a chance. And I'm sure these guys are out of here. And we took another one down. Beautiful. So there is one collar for Sika Deer, which is the Deer Grunt Collar. There is no scent for Sika Deer. And their common fur types include brown, black, spotted dark, and spotted. They actually have two rare variations. Rare is spotted red, and very rare is albino, and that's it as far as rare variations go. And they just drop like flies with the 303. And this is a black, so diamond for Sika Deer is 198.74. And that was actually a neck shot, I got lucky there. Now they drink here in New Zealand from 10 until 13 or 13.30, which is the exact same drink time as Fallow Deer. They actually drink at the exact same time. Fallow you'll find basically on this side of the map, and Sika Deer you will find on the left side of the map. So this is where I found all of my drink zones for Sika Deer. They're very condensed on the left hand side and on the coast, so that should definitely help you to find your zones. The next species we're gonna have a look at are fallow deer. Now fallow deer are very plentiful here in Te Awaroa. There are piles of fallow deer here. It's much easier to hunt fallow deer here in New Zealand than it is in Hirschfelden. Now fallow deer are a class 4 species. They go to 5 medium. They can make diamond at level 4 and level 5. But generally speaking, it is a five that you are looking for most of the time. Their max weight track is 100 kilograms or 220 pounds, and they drink from 10 until 13 or 13.30. Now they're just coming into their drink time right now. And that's actually a max weight level three. You don't see that very often. Let's take him down, shall we? And splat. And we did get them. Seeing as fallow deer are a class 4 species, you can use any 4 to 8 rifle. You can use the M1, the 30 odd 6, the 303, the 308, whatever 4 to 8 you prefer. Now, one awesome way to make cash is by using the air rifle, sneaking up on a herd and taking out just a pile of them. If you do that nice and slow, you should be able to take down quite a few. Now, let's take a long range shot on this one here. It's a smaller max weight. Now, there is one collar for fallow deer, and that is the antler rattler. All right. And down he goes. And we'll take a second one for good measure. Now, fallow deer would make an amazing great one species. I don't know how soon we'll see that in the game, but I can't even imagine what the rocks would look like on a great one fallow deer, but I would love to find out. So there is our max weight three. He is not even a gold, but diamond for fallow deer is 251.72. Now the common fur types for fallow deer include dark, spotted, red spotted, and dark spotted. The rare fur types include piebald, albino, and melanistic. Albino and melanistic being very rare with a less than 0.1% spawn rate. 
So you will find fallow deer condensed all along the right hand side of the map and along the coast. You won't find any fallow deer on the left hand side. The next species we're gonna have a look at are feral goats. Now feral goats go to level five. They can make diamond at level four and level five, but getting them to make diamond at level five is a feat in and of itself. Feral goats are notorious for trolling. I think I have three diamond feral goats and over 20 trolls. It's kind of insane. So feral goats are a class three species. So the best weapons to use when hunting feral goats are the Ranger 243. The 243 Cuomo handgun is one of my favorites now. You can use the Solokin, but right now we are actually going to be using the air rifle. Now with the air rifle, you can zero in at 25, 50, and 100 meters. That's the max you can zero. We are 100 meters away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our time we're gonna take one down and then we're gonna wait for them to calm down now hopefully I'm not too close if you get too close they will spook and they may just spook here but let's find out and that was a beautiful hard shot this guy's alert none of them have spooked beautiful this guy says alarmed but good chance he is gonna calm down before he actually flees nope he's out all right, one of them is spooked, but the rest, they're hanging out. So basically what you wanna do now is wait until they go back calm and then take another one out. So if you pace yourself properly, you can take a whole pile down and make some serious cash. So they are traveling. All right, let's go see how we did here. Now, feral goats have a max weight of 50 kilograms or 110 pounds, and they're common fur variations, and there are a lot of them, include white, dark brown, brown, blonde, white, brown, black, white, and black, brown. Their rare variation is mixed, and that was a beautiful heart shot, as well as black, and albino. Those are the three rare variations. Black and albino are considered to be very rare with a less than 0.1% spawn rate. And diamond for feral goat is 208.71. So we got the heart there and that's it. So if you do miss the heart, you may just get air. And that was a 99.55 meter shot with the Vasquez Cyclone air rifle. This is the only map you can hunt feral goats on and they drink from 1500 till 18 or 1830. All right, let's try to take one down now with the 243 R Cuomo. Now, the really beautiful part about this handgun is that it can zero all the way up to 200 meters, which is extremely far for any handgun, and you can put any scope on it, and it is very flat shooting. We definitely got him, and this guy hasn't even spooked. Now, the one drawback is you do have to reload after every shot. But the beautiful thing about this handgun is that it only weighs one kilogram, so it is very easy to fit into any loadout. All right, here he is. He is a white. I don't know, I think it's very tough to tell when you find an albino. I have never actually shot one, so I wouldn't know, but they will have pink hooves and a pink nose. So that was a double lung shot. Look at the penetration, holy moly. That was a 226 meter shot and we got double lung with the 243 R Cuomo. So this is where we were right here. So drink zones for feral goats are spread fairly evenly across the map. You'll find them in exactly where I have X's here. Those are all of my drink zones for feral goats. So hopefully that'll help you to find yours. The next species we're gonna have a look at for today's guide are feral pigs. Now feral pigs are a class four species. They go to five medium. They can make diamond at level four and level five but most of the time you are looking for a level five. Their max weight track is 205 kilograms or 452 pounds. And let's take one down right now. And that was good. So feral pigs drink from three until six or 6.30. So they do drink exclusively in the dark. So you definitely will need the Gen Zero binoculars when you are hunting them. There is one collar for feral pigs and that is the wild boar collar. This is it here. Doesn't make the nicest of sounds, but it is very effective. Now the common fur types for feral pigs include dark brown, brown hybrid, brown, black gold, and black spots. 
There are two different rare variations for feral pigs, including pink, which is rare, and albino, which is considered to be very rare with a less than 0.1% spawn rate. And this guy is a dark brown, and diamond for feral pig is 144.25. They look pretty cool, don't they? This is one of the best spots for feral pigs and for fallow deer. And that's in the top right corner. So this is everywhere where I have found drink zones for feral pigs. They are very condensed right on the right and on the left. And all of these maps, guys, I will post to my Discord for you guys to easily reference. And I will leave the link below the video. The next species we're going to have a look at for today's guide is chamois. Now, chamois have lost their drink time, so now we do have to hunt them in their feed and their rest zones, so they're a lot harder to hunt since the June 28th update. Now, the best time to hunt them now that they don't have a drink time is from 4 or 4.30 until 8 or 8.30, and I am going to share a whole bunch of feed zones with you guys. I have figured out where they are feeding. So right now, we are right at the bottom of this lake. Chamois used to drink all along the edge of this lake here, so I figured let's go see if they're feeding out here and sure enough they are. So chamois go to five medium. They are a class three species. So I personally am going to be hunting them with the new 243 Arquomo. The other weapons you can use are the Solikin, the Ranger 243, the 223, or the Zarza 223. But with the Arquomo, we have a handgun that zeroes up to 200 meters. You can put any scope on it and it only weighs one kilogram. Now you gotta love the sounds they make. <laughs> First time I heard that sound, I was like, what the heck is that? Sounds like we have some flatulating chamois, but that's actually their mating call. Now max weight for chamois is 65 kilograms or 143 pounds. So that is worth tracking. Okay, we have quite a few chamois out here feeding. We have two level fours. Neither of them are diamond potential. So we're gonna take this guy down because he has the highest trophy range. Oh, look at all of them. Oh my goodness, there is just a pile of them out here. That one, that's the one we want right there. All right, we're going to use the Arquomo. Now there is no collar for chamois, unfortunately. That's a bit of a drawback. All right, I'm just going to try right now. Now that should have been good. It does take a minute for them to start dropping in health and we did get a good shot there, beautiful. So I'm gonna watch until he drops. It's not a strong pistol, but it definitely does do the job and he should be down. So let's reload and let's go see how we did. So there we go, 49.99 gold. So diamond for chamois is 58.0. They actually have several different common fur variations, including gray brown, dark brown, honey tones, brown, and tan. And they have three different rare variations, including leucistic, which is rare, and melanistic and albino, both of which are very rare with a less than 0.1% spawn rate. So here are a bunch of feed zones that I have found for chamois. There are definitely more than what I have just found, but that'll definitely give you a good start to hunting them in their feed zones. The next species we're gonna have a look at are European rabbits. Now, European rabbits are a little bit different from other species in that there are no need zones placed on the map when you discover them. What you will see are these bunny burrows, and basically you just have to remember where they are. But I am gonna share a hotspot map with you showing you many different locations where I have found European rabbit burrows. Now, European rabbits are a class one species. You can use any shotgun with birdshot, or you can use the Virant 22, or the Zarza 22. Now they go to level three. They can make diamond at level two and level three. And they are pretty much the cutest animal in the entire game. I kind of feel guilty when I shoot them. They are so cute. Now their max weight track is 2.6 kilograms or 5.7 pounds. And the best times to hunt them are from five to nine, 12 till 1600 and 1800 to 2200. That's when their burrows will be active. Now, I think they know I'm here. So we're using the Virant 22. Oh, they're so cute. I'd like to take the biggest male down. <laughs> and I'm getting a warning. All right, we're just gonna take what we have here. All right, there he is. And splat. Like I said, aren't they adorable? And we do have a gold. Man, they are so cute. So diamond for European rabbit is 2.42. That is what you're looking for in a diamond. And that was a 13.98 meter shot. So this guy is a tan. Their common fur types include light brown, brown, dark brown, and tan. And they have 
four rare variations. All of them are considered to be very rare. And those include light gray, melanistic, leucistic, and albino, all with a less than 0.1% spawn rate. So this lake is absolutely amazing for European rabbits. I found three different burrow locations around this lake in particular. Okay guys, so I have put X's on all the spots where I have found burrows. Now your map might not be exactly the same as mine, but it should be similar. And I'm sure there are more than that, but that'll definitely give you many burrows to hunt from. The next and final species for today's guide are Merriam turkeys. Now turkeys don't have a drink time on any of the maps anymore. So we do have to hunt them in their feed zones mainly and rest zones. And we do have a bunch of feeding turkeys right here. So turkeys go to level three. They can make diamonds at level two or level three. Their max weight track is 11 kilograms or 24 pounds. And their feed time, this zone right here is from four until eight. But I do believe there are several different feed zones, but this is the one where I seem to find the most turkeys, four till eight. Now this spot right here, up and around this corner, is awesome for turkeys. I always find piles of them here. Now turkeys are a class one species, so you can use any shotgun with birdshot. You can use the Virant 22 or the Zarza 22. And we are using the Virant. Usually you can take a few out, make some cash. We're just gonna take three so we don't lose the zone. So there is two different collars for turkeys. We have the wild turkey crow collar, which elicits a response so you know where the turkey is. And we do have the wild turkey mouth collar, which calls your turkey into you. And then we also do have the sentry and strutting decoys for turkeys. And that is our mail there. And diamond for turkey is 4.62. It used to be 4.6, but it changed by 0.02 with that update of June 28th. So as far as common fur types go, this is a brown. There also are dark brown and light brown fur types, which are common for turkeys. And then we have leucistic, melanistic, and albino, all of which are rare. Melanistic and albino are considered to be very rare with a less than 0.1% spawn rate. So this is where I have found all kinds of feed zones on my map. So definitely this should help you to find your feed zones. But the left hand side is the best in my opinion. If you did learn anything at all guys, go ahead and smash that like button. And we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys. If you guys would like to learn all the newest hotspots and info for Leighton Lakes, here is the updated Leighton Super Guide. Click away. Take care guys.